Alright guys, what's up? How's it going? Iron Man here. And today what I have for you is something a little different besides the iPhone. And that is for Mac specific users. And this is going to be just um, a, a few applications that I found just recently actually. And some of them are quite old. That really uh, utilize my, my Mac. They help me. Some, one of them helps me with just everyday usage. And the others help with you know maximizing my Mac's capabilities. And uh, I'll show you here in a second. So the first one I want to do, and two of which of these are paid, they range in price, so I will have the links in the more info section so you guys can go and check that out. Uh, they do have a quick uh, little bundle sale going on, so um, you can go ahead and check that out after this video. So the first one I have for you is called Think. Again, some of these are kind of old, but basically this is what it is. It brings up a couple applications that you're running, well, every application you're running, uh, and you can go ahead and click one, and when clicked, it will layer that background with uh, just complete blackness, so you have, not only is it, um, you know, an, a cleaner interface, but it helps you focus more and, you know, maintain your process of whatever it is that you might be working on. I, this also works great with everyday life, such as, you know, Hulu. I use the Hulu desktop version. So let's go ahead and open this up and, uh, per, uh, you know, pretend that we're going to watch a movie. What I like to do is, uh, you know, simply run think and we will run Hulu and here you have it. Um, now, uh, a thing that I like to do, you know, for some people that may not know this, is to hide, is, excuse me, is to hide the dock. So, you know, it really makes for a black interface. You can change the resolution, I guess you would call it, the fade, excuse me, on how you would like this to, uh, you know, show. So, we can go from the lightest to the, you know, kind of like a dark, dark fade or, to, you know, straight black. Uh, again, you can hide the dock. It looks a lot better that way. And with the Think icon, there's a little icon of what you're currently using with Think, which is the Hulu icon. So uh, just something, you know, uh, I like to use. You can use this for when you're writing or if you're watching another video on another website. You know, anything of the sort, that's what it's for. It's great for just, you know, everyday usage. So that's Think, and that is free. Again, all the websites will be in the sidebar. The next one I have is called Sponge. Now, the Mac should automatically have this, in my opinion. As you can see, you get a pretty lengthy um, uh, excuse me, trial. So uh, I'm actually using the trial right now. I'm considering buying this. I believe this is like $20, but you can pay $75 and get in a range of different applications on their website. Now, uh, again, I believe the Mac should have this built in as uh, Windows PCs do. And what this does, it lets you find all of your huge applications, applications you may not even know exist on your computer because you forgot all about them. It can let you find duplicates and you sweep your uh, your logs. So um, you clean your logs out. So it's pretty, I mean, it utilizes your Mac simply because it frees up space, it makes it faster, and everything you do from now on after you've deleted some of this stuff, it's just going to run more smoother and it's going to be, you know, less stuff on your processor whether or not you were running this before and you didn't even know it. So we'll scroll down. These are all my applications that I have, and you can arrange them in size from smallest to largest or largest to smallest. So something to keep in mind, you can find your duplicates, you find in, you know, you choose your dictionary and you look throughout everything. If there's a duplicate and you didn't know about it, you can move it to the trash. It's all about uh, freeing space, uh, pretty much. And this is a, a, a free, uh, excuse me, a paid application, but you do get a two-week time period to go and check it out if you think you might want to go ahead and grab it. I'm definitely considering buying this. This is something that the Mac needs. I'm actually not even sure if there's something similar that, that the Mac has this already. I do not know. But um, that's that. It's called Sponge. Again, all the links will be in the sidebar. The next one I have for you is called Main Menu. Now, this is pretty much already on. It's always on. I don't know really what the icon is supposed to look like. Um, but anyway, it will be in your status bar. It is right here, the little plus sign you can see. When clicked, it shows you everything from your system logs to your applications, to the disk utility, anything you think of, you name it, that's in your system, it's doing it right here. This is just easy management. I've never seen such an application like this uh, that's made this easy. It's in the status bar, and you can do anything to help your computer run faster. 
whether it be at now or any given moment in the future, you can uh, force quit applications and force restart them from here. You can go through your user, you can change anything from clearing cache to disabling certain features, and you can relaunch certain things if something goes wrong. So if there's crashes, if there's freezing, or if you feel that your computer's running a bit slow or you need to clear things out, this is definitely the easiest way to do it. It repairs things, it clears things out, you can change different options, and it just gives you an array of different things and it's a really great tool uh, not only because what it does but because it's so simplistic because it just sits in your sidebar excuse me your status bar you don't have to deal with another application if uh, being up on your dock or anything like that so as far as that goes you're great so I mean that's pretty much all there is it's just basically clearing and freeing up memory I believe this runs for twenty five to thirty dollars I'm not sure exactly on the price but again you can pay seventy on their website and you get ton a ton of different things which is really a great deal so go check out their website that's where these two applications came from the sponge and main menu uh, think King came from freeverse a lot of you know them on the iPhone and iPod touch they also do a lot of Mac things so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this really quick video just wanted to show you guys what I recently found to share with you guys who may not have seen this before hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys have a good one and I will catch you guys in my later video peace